Hello out there again, all my crafty friends. Um, this is take two <laughs> of the Winnie the Pooh journals. <clears throat> this is the, um, I tried to do one of these last night and it was longer than 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try not to rush through, but I've gotta go kind of quick. So um, this is one or two. This is Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Be Happy. And it's, you know, of course it's six by eight. And I put a little charm on here with uh, with Eeyore and uh, Domino and Tigger and some, these were gifted me in a rack. And I'm horrible y'all and I apologize, but I can't remember who sent those to me, but that those were gifted to me and really cute. And they're the two little, little purple and the orange one too. And then some other vintage buttons and just um, fun stuff, the glass bead. Anyway, that's the charm. And then the um, wrap that I put on here, I took a, a sheet that I had that was kind of tearing apart. And of course I washed it, I laundered it real well. And, <laughs> and it was a white sheet and I just tore it into strips and I dyed it with uh, some Tim Holtz um, Distressed Oxide inks and then let it dry real well. And I stamped some little bees on this one. So that's a little closure. It's really soft, a really soft sheet. And um, <clears throat> with the Poo's uh, books, I made a little drawstring bag. Well, it's not little. Um, it's like 15 by 10. So it's big enough for you to put the journal in. And then it's just um, some twine that I put in the, the string part. So anyway, real quick. Uh, pretty much like the rest of my journals that I make, um, there's a lot of, uh, there's pockets and there's little fabric tabs and vintage buttons and um, little uh, tuck spots um, with some sewing on it this time. I got a sewing machine, some tags that I made um, with fabric and, and uh, twine and hemp cord. Um, this says have courage and be kind. These are little cup, cupcake toppers that I printed out of, of um, free printables. Did some stamping. It's got the kids book pages, calligraphy. Um, this one I did the flip out with the pages. <clears throat> so you got the whole story in here. And I think this one is 1991. So it's not an old book. Um, well, it's old, but it's not yeah, really old. So cardstock, ledger paper, scrapbook paper. Made some little pockets. This is some of my tea dyed uh, mixed media paper. And I just left the little fringes on it where I tore, tore it out of the book and did some stitching and added some fabric. This is um, some free printables I found. You know, the only thing with these is you just can't, you know, sell the digital images. But, um made a little tag with the index card for that and some little um, journaling spots, journaling cards that came out of, of a scrapbook paper little kit that I bought it Tuesday morning and it's about camping so I thought it kind of fit in here with the outdoor with you know through being outdoor. More scrapbook paper, some uh, vintage fabric. This I made a big tag and I stitched all the way around it and then stamped some little bees on there. Oh, this goes in like this. Uh, kids workbook. These are some older kids workbooks that I found at a thrift store. More tea dyed paper. This is a printable um, coloring page. Some fabric, um, which is the same fabric that I use for the bag and on the binding. I don't think I showed you that, but um, then put a little bee charm and a little button. Lots and lots of space. I tried to embellish, but not over embellish so that you would have, um, oh, and I need to add some buttons in here. I forgot that part. That's the only thing I need to add. Um, plenty of room, you know, for you to you know, read the story. Um, journal, put pictures in, whatever you want to do. Stamp, paint, 
Uh, tons of real estate <clears throat> in these books. This is just a little sticker I had. Um, one of those little sticker pages that came with one of those kits. It says happy. As a matter of fact, that might have been in my stash. Um, another pocket with another um, printable with this saying. Promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. Christopher Robin. I love that. That's one of my favorites. Some more stitching on um, tea dyed paper. Some vintage fabric. And this is vintage ribbon and I stitched through that. Added the button and left the little um, pieces down here. You, If you don't like that, you can cut that off real easy. But I like that. I like kind of that texture look. This is a um, page, I just paper clipped it in from another poo book from the 90s. I thought that was really cute. Found that at their store. Just picked up a bunch of poo stuff. Um, another um, one of those, this is a big sheet from a kid's workbook, writing book. Um, another little tag with poo. And this is a flip as well. Well, there we go. So you can write in there. And then this, the middle is this middle. It's two signatures. I haven't counted the pages, but I think it's about 80 some pages. So if you double that, you know, 80 pages if you count just this as one. So if you double that, it's about 160 pages of, of space in here. Um, take out, you know, the 12 pages of the book. Um, and we've got a ton of, a ton of spaces to journal. Um, this is just a little note card. This is some stuff I had in my stash that that came from my old Felicity Jane kit. And took a little piece of a file folder. It's a little wonky. I didn't quite get it straight, but I still think he's cute. So I left him in here. And, um, this little card that says you are my happy and that's another flip right here too and i hope i'm in frame well and i'm sorry i'm trying to go through this kind of quick i'm gonna put a little paper clip with a little um, button this is some fabric i found at my thrift store and i love it i'm using a i've been using a ton of that <clears throat> wasn't a really big piece but man it's it's going a long way this is a little poo workbook, like a coloring book, workbook. More tea dyed paper, another old workbook. Um, added a piece of, um, another piece of fabric from my thrift store and a little heart button, little metal heart button. And this is the big music sheet and and you fold it over and I just stapled it here and put a little tag there with another one of those little cupcake poos on there. And it creates a pocket back here. So <clears throat> here's Eeyore. And this is from a file folder. And then um, this is actually a pocket as well. Another little journaling card from the camping paper. And this, this I believe was some um, Felicity Jane paper from one of my kits. It's double-sided, very nice paper. In the center of this signature, and I kept these like this because I really like the, the whole picture. Um, gotta add some buttons or something there, maybe some little hearts, some of my handmade buttons. Another little book page from another book that you can Cut it up or move it around and put it wherever you want to. The other side of that music sheet. I thought that was cute. Can't wait to have some more fun with you. <laughs> and another Eeyore tag. And then just stuck another little paper clip here. A little vintage button. And that's a tuck spot. So I did embellish, but I didn't do a ton of it, but left you a lot of real estate um, to do what you want. 
and it will come with you know some extra goodies and then more stamping here um i will throw some more journaling cards and some extra little bits and pieces i didn't have a lot of the there's another little um card from a paper collection and another little pocket that i stitched using the tea dyed um paper and stitched around that did some stamping with the bees here. And then the very last page, this is a printable of the map of um, the woodlands. What do they call it? My mind is blank. Y'all know what this is. It's, it's Pooh's map. <laughs> Pooh's world. Drawn, it says drawn by me and Mr. Shepherd helped. <laughs> so, and I feel like me, I can't remember what. He called his little, um, in the woods. Anyway, um, this is the back, and I signed it there, and I put the, put the book corners on it. Um, but yeah, that's it, and I've got to go back and add some buttons here. And that's it for that one, and I will, like I said, I will add some extra, extra things in here. Let me see where I'm at on time. No, oh, I did good this time. Um, some extra little goodies. And you get the bag um, with this as well. So, I appreciate y'all. These are so fun to make. Y'all know I'm addicted. I don't even need to say that. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I make these all the time. And I have a ton more of them. I bet I have 30 of them. Um, but here's the, yeah, here's the fabric on the spine. And I just used the, this is a hemp hemp cording that I use to bind these in a brown so I thought it went well with this but anyway thanks for watching this will be listed actually it's already listed in my Etsy shop I did that today I had done these videos but they were too long I couldn't get them to load so here I am doing this again anyway I hope everybody's having a great day um, thanks for stopping by thanks for all your love and support and um, you can leave me a comment and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it Anyhow, love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.